Okay, we're on to a new project today. We are now working on installing our brake hydraulic reservoir. And in doing so, we ended up deviating from the plans just a tad bit for ease of installation, but also ease of filling. So this is what we decided to do. Originally, the plane um, uh, or the drawings tell you to mount that hydraulic reservoir inside of the forward baggage compartment. Now, um, not only does that make it a little weird in having to try to get on top of it to fill, um, you also have to pass through uh, this bulkhead number three in order to get to the cockpit and um, run the lines right to those master cylinders. So instead, because we have access panels right here, makes it super easy to just get on top and fill, also get on top, on top and um, inspect, we decided to put the reservoir in that same area. So no having to pass through uh, bulkheads and um, it ends up making it a lot easier. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna mount the uh, reservoir that already has the T right on it so it can go to each master cylinder. Then we'll run some lines. They'll go right to the master cylinders and we'll be on our way in the hydraulic system of this T51 Mustang. Okay, and this part of the project is complete. Um, it only took about half an hour, which was uh, the ultimate goal of this whole thing, because it was a really simple modification. We were basically moving the brake reservoir from the front side of station three to the aft side of station three, and that um, was not only easier to install, but it's gonna be uh, way easier to service. There's uh, 
um, less fittings, there's, we don't have to go through any bulkheads. Um, it really makes the whole process a lot easier. And as you saw, um, we got to put in our first hydraulic lines in the aircraft. So with that, stay tuned for more videos. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile app and stay tuned for more. I'm Jake Simon, Blue Skies.